All right, new machine for old school. I've never seen this one before. 777 double money with the quick hit feature. Basically, this is like a double diamond <laughs> quick hit. So, Bally's version of double diamonds, basically. Double money is like a double diamond. But quick hits anywhere, very nice. Quick hits on the line, 50 grand on a $10 bet. We've got 10 of them. Let's be nice. Double money, 777. Here we go. And you're silent. Silent money back. And shaky, shaky. You guys. Come on. How about that diagonal? And a quick hit for free spin. Double money showing up, just not on the line. And they won't do anything on the line, just like double diamonds. See? But you would have. 200 bucks. And the last spin. Two quick hits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna print that ticket and say machine number one. Gave me a little something, something. And we'll move on to the next new machine we could find. Or something that you know is old school that we like. All right. Walk by this Blazing Sevens. Still at the uh, MGM, Park MGM that is. Look at that. It's a hand pay for the Blazing Sevens. I'm gonna give it a shot. I think it's ripe to pop, right? It's been nice a couple of times with just some, uh, you know, $300 Sevens. Let's see if we can do it again. Three dollar bets. Not gonna go crazy. Gonna go kinda quick and chatter over the music. Let's see if we can't do anything. And I won't go below 50 bucks, I don't think, because I'm not just going to keep chasing and chasing. I do want to play $10 spins, or maybe some $15 spins. Hopefully I'll have $1,200 to do some more with, or maybe an extra 50 bucks on the next 100. See, right there. I'd take that, who wouldn't? Bars help. Let's go. Let's blaze sevens. Why couldn't the single bar come down? It's got a little sound, low volume, but it's super loud in here. Super, super loud. Come on, sevens. You keep coming. You keep coming. The sevens seem to shake the reels. Give me a blank at least. He didn't give me anything. We're gonna print that ticket. $49 down here. Going somewhere else. All right. Came over to the Bellagio to play a little top dollar with the Progressive, which was $80,000 the last time I was here. Now it's 111. Maybe I can catch this one because right over here, young lady just hit on Huffin' More Pup. $176,000 and she's waiting to get paid and cheers to her. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, I'll be happy with this top dollar just coming up on the line. Because right now, um, oh, four, two, but only 50 bucks <laughs> in the uh, Aria on that blazing seven. Wow, 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 wow. Come on, top dollar. Wow. And 
everyone is coming up to that lady and saying congratulations. All right, Cherries, now you please. Thank you. See, everybody is just crowding around. Check it out, check it out. Wow. Oh, come on, Top Dollar. Three double dollars on the line. Might make it 111,000 winner. That'd be pretty cool on a $10 bet. What are the odds of that happening? All right, Cherries. Keep it going now. Come on. Come on. Call on the top dollar. Come in top dollar. Two more. Last one. Not this time, top dollar. You got me. Cheers, all. All right, a little easy money in Paris. Excuse me, Paris. This is Planet Hollywood. We are going to Paris next. I know there are some old school slots in Paris, but not many in Planet Hollywood. There's a couple of top dollars, and that's it. But I am going to play this old uh, Valley's game with a little bit of money left over from here, but hopefully the excess from here with a $300 win. Let's see what happens with the easy money. All right, Jerry's. This game's got some bass, really. The shakes. And the easy money's come out. Come on. Let's see the easy money. Going down quick. Couple more spins. All right. Moving in the right direction now. Now we need the easy money on the lines. One of the five lines. Nope. All right, two more. Last one. Ouch. All right. Let's go check out this slot over here. We'll do it live because it's right behind me. I'm gonna have to step back. <laughs> it's a three credit and this is a huge game with a huge bench that you're sitting down on. And you got a little wheel up there too. Let's see if something can happen with these spins. How about 100 pay on the line? Here we go. Old school valleys. Spin bonus, 100 pay. Blazing sevens. Give me something. Oh, and there's the pay table. Oh, I should show you that. Sorry guys. Crazy. Ah, I got it. It's like cash time. Single bar, double bar, triple bar. On the line, we'll pay. Anything on the line pays. Super jackpot. Let's have that fall on the line. Well, all three super jackpots have to be on the line. With tree credits played. Come on, seven. Ah. Uh, nice. Two hundred bucks, nice. Come on. Three more. Ah. 
Ouch. Last one. You're not nice either. Big Monty. <laughs> Let's head over to Paris. All right, pinball. In Paris. Hopefully you'll be nice. Pinball has not been nice this trip. It was not nice in Cosmo. However, when it wasn't nice in Cosmo, one of my group poll participants said, pinball in Paris pays. So let's see if it's gonna pay. Are we gonna do all 200? I hope not. I do wanna play that 50 times pay, which you guys really like. It's only a dollar slot, but you really like it. And I wanna play that too. Hopefully, this is gonna put me in for, I think, just shy of 500. Hopefully, pinball will make me up 500, at least this pinball. Be nice, come on. Pinball, please. Line hit, please. Something. Ouch. What's up with you, pinball? You don't even want to give me a cherry? I should just stop right now and take this 80 bucks over. I should. How about we'll do a couple of $10 spins. Jeez. Uh... All right, it's going down. Last two spins. Pinball, you're dead to me now. <laughs> At least this trip you are. For well, show. Cheers, all. One last little shot. Gonna put me in for over 500 now because I'm not gonna just put 20 bucks in that slot. 50 times pay. If it's still here, you're up next. Yes, they still have. 50 times pay, 50 times pay. And I forgot, it's in multi-denomination, so we're playing the $5 version. 10 spins, 10 bucks a spin. Let's see 50 times pay be nice. And by the way, the 50 times is only on the third reel. It's not like you can get <laughs> ridiculous multipliers. So let's see what happens because we're down now, so I think uh, like 375 bucks, unless this turns into something nice. Here we go, come on. I'd love to see like triple bars and that 50 times pay on the line, or double bars. Wild would be nice, but 50 times pay is what we want. How about with any sevens? There's one. Ah. Uh, any sevens, 50 times pay. There you are. 50. Get up on the line. With a cherry even. Be 2,500 bucks. Ouch. Talk about stingy. Well, it's a 50 times pay machine. I mean, think about it. 200 bucks times 50, that'd be pretty sweet. How about this guy right here? This looks like the original five times pay. <laughs> $50,000. If we can get that $5 credit to be on the line. So let's throw some money in there and uh, maybe close it out here. All right, it's a quiet machine, but hopefully we'll see you and you and you. That'd be pretty sweet. Here we go. Super quiet. Come on. They don't have the these $5 games in the high limit room. I would have taken that. 
Of course I would have. It's a no-brainer. Halfway through and not even a line hit. Kind of like 50 times pay. Thank you, Cherries. You are good. Line hits are even better. Come on. Five times. All right. Maybe you're being nice now. Ooh, showing up. On the line, please. Just be on the line, that's all we want. Three sevens would be nice. Two red sevens and the five times, three grand. All right, we only got five more spins. We got a hand pay, guys. A Paris hand pay. How sweet is that? Wow, wow, wow. Five times pay. You came through big time. Wow. We will take that five times pay. <laughs> oh, I was just hoping a single ball was gonna come there. 25 times single bars. Wow. 25 big ones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, five times pay. My second jackpot on a five times pay. Actually, it's I think my third jackpot. Got one with mom. I forgot that Wheel of Fortune was a five times pay. Paris. Hey, at least I got another Las Vegas jackpot. Third in Paris. Cheers, all. See you real soon. Yay! As I'm sucking some juice out of Buffalo to charge my phone because it's dying over here. Look at what's on the other side of five times pay. Hey, now. It's $5 Haywire. Well, it's a multi denom, but that is my favorite, favorite, favorite favorite. You know I'm going to play some of that. You know it. After I get my 2500 Cheers. Yes. Slot attendant told me this is the original. So it's fitting that old school gets a jackpot on an original old school slot. Awesome. Awesome. And as I said, what's on the other side of it? Haywire. Hey now, we're gonna play that. At least a hundred bucks next. They got Double Diamond Deluxe over here. You know what? I didn't really think about these machines here and I just saw them at the Dollar Denom when I was here months back. But I like Paris now. Both literally and the casino. Cheers all. Holy crap, how cool is that? That is awesome. Got paid quick. She was awesome. Got me in the system in Paris. And I really want to leave it like that. But I still want to do a backup spin. But I want to leave it like that. <laughs> Can we do it again? I know we're not. But that is two five times pay and anything. It could have been a cherry and it would have been 2500 Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh man, if it was a double bar, it would have been 5,000. Hey, I don't even talk about it. Don't be greedy, old school. Makes this a nice trip in Vegas. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go. Hey, what do you think of that? Back to back wins. <laughs> 2,500 and then 50 bucks. We will take that. Let's do it again. And we'll do one more. All right, five times pay. You rock. But now we're going to the other side. Should we just walk over there? Put in this 60 bucks? To Mr. Haywire, the original. Why not? Let's walk around. Take a walk with me. Red, white, and blue, double gold that's out of service.
triple stars. And Mr. Haywire. Hey now, Mr. Haywire. Let's do this. Oopsie, come on. <laughs> Let's get my card in there, which I didn't even have working this whole time in Paris, but I really don't care about the comms, to be honest. Not like in Connecticut. You always should care about the comms, but I don't frequent Vegas that much, as you all know. So let's see what'll happen right here, right now. Okay, let's do it. Got some sound. Come on, Haywire. Double O seven. Been there, done that. Last spin, Mr. Haywire. Not this time. Nice to play you, though. Cheers, all. I hope you enjoyed that action. I sure did. Started out crazy, walking all over the place, and getting a hand pay in the end. Paris came through. It's time to go to bed. It's late, but I'm going to bring you some more action from Vegas real soon because I'm still here, not going home yet. And I still have to play Triple Double Diamond on the way out from my room at Red Rock. Cheers, and as always, I thank you for your love and support old school slots. Come on, guys. Did you really think I was going to go out like that? <laughs> this is Haywire. I got to give it a full shot. Come on, 10 more spins. 10 bucks a spin. This is not $100 Haywire, and I just put 600 through. That was 60 bucks. Even old school can do a little bit more after an awesome hand pay like that, up over two grand. Well, this will uh, put me in for fo over 500, so around two grand. Who cares? Come on, let's see if we can't get some Haywire action. It's been a long time, Mr. Haywire, in this original version. Although, again, not multi-denomination and didn't have the old coins there. So this one's even older than the one I played over at Mohegan. Although I don't remember. It might have had the coin thing there. I wasn't recording back then. All right, enough banter. Let's do it. And let's get a haywire. For old time's sake. Again, 007. Let's do it. Keep showing up. Just won my 60 bucks back. We'll go a couple of hours. Come on. I want to see a haywire. Come on, haywire. Do it. back basically gave me my money back and then you don't do anything come on Double. oh that's what I'm talking about now why don't you go haywire <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it mr. haywire I just knew it I just knew it you rock you rock you rock you rock mr. haywire I love you I think I like this slot. This is the original. Come on. Thank you. Come on. All right, you know me. Mr. Haywire was good to me. I am not gonna be greedy. And I am gonna say, cheers Haywire. Thank you so much for doing this. And again, making me love Paris. <laughs> 
in Europe and Paris in Vegas. And as always, guys, you know we've got to play the old school slots while we can because this whole bank is going to be gone probably by next year. But I hope not because I will be back to Paris to play this soon. I don't know if I'll stay here, but I will definitely play here. As always, I thank you for your love and support of these old school slots. All right, a little triple stars action in a 50 cent five line game with 30 bucks in there. You know what that means, bucks and banter time. Got a question from Joanna Lara, and Joanna wants to know, why don't you do more high limit action like some of the other slot channels do? You know, the 100, 200, $500 spins. To be honest, whether it's $500 or 50 cents, the action for me is still the same. The math is still the same. It works out the same. And truthfully, I, I don't wanna play $500 a hand or $500 a spin. Do I enjoy watching the uh, big channels that do that? Of course I do. And most of the big slot channels that make those bets, they are awesome. Very genuine, good people. I've met a bunch of them and I can't say enough uh, good things about them. To each their own, I say. And I've said that when I have a low rolling video, you know, playing 25 cent slot machines at 50 cents a spin or something like that. This 25 cent spin that I'm doing is like one of the bigger channels doing $250 a spin. I don't mind losing 25 cents. They don't mind losing $250. It's all relative. What's, uh, you know, in their means is not in my means. Even if I won the lottery and I had, you know, $50 million that I could uh, play around with, White Sevens, thank you, I still would be a little bit more conservative in my play. Would I step it up a little bit? Of course. But in the end, I do enjoy gambling, but I don't want to go too crazy. I think people love watching my channel because I'm a little bit more true to life to what most people can play because most people can't afford to bring $10,000 to the casino and if they lose it, eh, no big deal, you know? That's uh, six months of mortgage payments for somebody. It's, uh, you know, a, a car that they may need. It's getting a new roof on their house. You know, it's all relative. So you gamble with your means, guys, and that's what it's all about. But I thank you for your bucks and banter questions as always, guys. If you have a bucks and banter question, you can ask it in any video, hashtag BB, or just put bucks and banter, and it might be answered in an upcoming video. And while this $30 was not 3,000 that I lost, I'm okay with that, guys. And that's what it's all about. Unless, oh, no white sevens for me. <laughs> Cheers all, thank you so much for your love and support of Old School Slots. Ito Tapas, little food review with my best friend Mark, who knows a lot of the great eateries in Vegas, and we checked this one out. It was delicious. Unfortunately for me, though, this was the second day, and my jet lag and staying up basically for 26 hours caught up with me. So it was a little difficult, and I ran out of gas pretty much halfway through the meal. So forgive me, I was not myself in reviewing uh, the different entrees that we have in front of us, but I hope you enjoy it and definitely check out Ito Tapas. And hopefully I'm gonna check it out again soon, perhaps with mom in the coming weeks. Cheers. Specialty cocktail at Ito Tapas. It's Hendrix gin, tonic, cucumber, and dehydrated lime wheel. Very interesting, fragrant, and delicious. Cheers. Please let us know what, what yeah, what's, this, what's in the, this is our price. This is going to be a watermelon, honeydew melon, gazpacho. So, watermelon, honeydew melon, heirloom tomato, cucumber, and onion. And then we also do a little sherry vinaigrette, uh, chiso puritake on top, and Spanish olive oil. Awesome, thank you. And uh, basically, we use this as a amuse bouche, something just to you know, get your palates ready for the food. Awesome. Thank you. This is a thin slice of Waigo beef sitting on top of an air bread that we fill with a cheese espuma. We finish it off with a truffle vinaigrette. Sherbet commences are best enjoyed in one bite. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Mm. 
best eaten in one bite because it just basically melts in your mouth and you couldn't really bite it. You just have to pop it in your mouth. It looks big, but it's delicious. Some potato chips on the side to be enjoyed. Tartar, thank you. Thank you. And fresh chips, which look delicious. In the center, we have a uh, Parmesan espuma. Instead of the blossoms, a little bit of wild boar ragu, and over the top, a tomato vinaigrette. Very nice, thank you. A little bit of salted, cu uh, salted cucumber with grapes. Finish yeah. off with a little bit of charro. Hey, thank you. Very nice. Thank you. This is the tar flambe with uh, caramelized onions, manchego cheese, a little bit of iberico ham, and jalapeno oil. Hey, thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.